Come on, Dad. This is the tunnel leading to the outside. Well, we've got to stop them. Come on. They've escaped through the tunnel. Come on, we've got to stop them. Hurry, Bob. Get him in here quick. Those fellas could be after us. tell him. But well, you get everything underground. Close up that tank and get that roof over there again to act as watchman. And clear out quick. What's the matter, Dirk? The should get away? Oh, they all got away. Now they've gone for the police to raid the place. Oh, I'm not worried about the police finding anything. If only the boys get away in time. Well, Duran will have everything underground. And the police will find nothing but an empty house and a dumb watchman. Good, will naturally think that you were captured by the crooks when he was. So how are you going to explain it to him? In this way. Now listen. Very well, Chief. Let me know the minute you'll learn anything. You'll find Mr. Hood and Miss Moore. Oh, yes. Well, Dad, how do you feel after your terrible experience yesterday? Oh, I feel all right, Tom. But I'm terribly worried about my partner. You haven't heard anything about Slater yet? No. I gave the police a full report of everything that happened. The chief himself is on the job. Of course you told him to keep it out of the papers. Out of the papers? Why? Why, it would kill my story. Thank heaven for you escaped from those well, Mr. Tell me, what happened? I'll, I'll call a doctor oh, at once. No, please. I, well, I'll be all right shortly. I want to get the police after those crooks at once. Well, that's all been attended to. The chief himself is on the job. Here, sit down. Uh, tell me, what happened? It's a long story, Hood. I was worried about your delay in returning. And I started out alone for Duran's place. Those crooks evidently have the place well guarded. They certainly have, Dad. I can vouch for that. As I was nearing the house, two of the lookouts jumped me. We had a terrific battle. But I managed to escape from them and get away in the woods. This man here found me and brought me here in his car. Yes, it's a lucky thing that I did find him at the time. Here you now, if, if you'll excuse me, I'll... I'll go on home and get cleaned up and pay this gentleman for his trouble. Uh, are you sure, Sam, you can make it all right? Oh, yes, that's all right, Father. I'll be all right now. Bob, I'm going to put a stop to this thing. A Betty running around with a gang of crooks. <laughs> crooks? Well, I tell Tom what you think of him. Howdy, howdy. Hello, everybody. Hello, Betty. Hello, Tom. Tom, Kate says you're a crook. Me a crook? <laughs> you know, she may be right. I may be the fellow we're looking for. <laughs> no, well, now, seriously. Today we're going to have our chance to prove definitely to Dad that someone in his own outfit is in league with the gang of crooks who stole the lost special. How? What's going to happen? Dad has consented to let Betty and me take a small shipment of gold bullion from the Galconda gold mine to his office. How's that going to prove anything? Well, no one is to know about it. Except Dad and Slater and their office force, ourselves, Riley the former at the mine and Riley's assistants. I still don't see it. If they all know it's to prove that the stealing of the last special was an inside job, there certainly won't be anything doing. But no one is to know that it's to prove anything or that it's a test shipment except Dad and ourselves. No, not even Slater, Mr. Hood's partner. 
Sounds great. When do we start? Right now. Betty's going to ride along with me to ward off any suspicion that we're carrying a gold shipment. Bob, you and Kate follow along at a distance in my car. Now, come on. Wait till I get my hat, Bob. Hurry up, though, will you? All our trouble up to the present has been caused by the interference of young Hood and Collins. Now, this is only a small shipment of bullion. But we can't afford to let young Hood get away with anything. You're right. We've got to discourage him and get him off of this job. Now, Dirk, you take Spike and Gavin in the open car and lay for young Hood at the intersection where the mine road crosses the highway. This is one time they won't outsmart us. Come on. Lefty. You and Joe post yourselves in the vicinity of the Galconda building and keep a sharp lookout for any police or detective activity. Later, I want to tell you what happened up at my place. <laughs> Glad to see you. Did Dad call you? Yes, Tommy. I got the gold all ready for you. Oh, fine. Bring out the bullion, Bill. Oh, uh, Betty, this is Riley. Riley? Miss Betty Moore. I'm oh, glad to meet you. you Riley used to spank me when I was about that big. <laughs> Tommy's been telling me a lot of wonderful things about you. Oh, Tommy's always joking. This looks like a good place to hide. We'll wait right here. <laughs> well, yes, she is, Tommy. All right, put it right in here, will you, Bill? $30,000 of the yellow stuff that causes a lot of trouble and gives a heap of joy. Yes, joy to those who have the pleasure of mending it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long, Riley, and call Dad and tell him I've left with the shipment, will you? I will, Tommy. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Eh? Yeah, chip of the old black. He's all right. Aren't we supposed to follow them? Sure we are, but at a considerable distance behind them. Right here. And when how young Hood comes, we'll take after him. Remember Slater's orders, no shooting. Well, suppose he uses a gap. Oh, he won't. Slater said he'll be along with the girl. And remember, Spike, when we catch up with him, you jump him. And we'll follow close on your heels. All right. I hope they get through with it. Yeah. Goodbye. Well, I just got a message from Riley. He said that Tom and Betty had left with the gold. Huh. I sincerely hope nothing happens to him. Yes. Oh, uh, any word from the police yet about the Duran place? Huh? Oh, no. Not a word. It's too bad. for that leap, Spike. I'll get him. Tom, there's a car following us. Right, buddy. Looks mighty suspicious. 
выпущен.